And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I've come to grips with the idea that we live in this retro type era. People are always remembering things from a while ago. Uh, but I don't understand sometimes why we market stuff at our kids that we enjoyed as kids. For example, this game here. Uh, the Gremlins, the Gizmo's Great Escape. This is a game that had it come out in the 80s would have probably had some traction. People would have bought it and had fun with it. Now, my kids don't know who the Gremlins are. and I mean, you could yell at me all you want that maybe they should watch such a classic movie, but I mean, I, I don't understand why this theme now. But let's take it all aside. Okay, Gremlins. Obviously, it seems the kind of game that the, the movie that you can make a game around. Well, let's take a look at this game to see if it works. The game is set around one of the scenes in the movie where Gizmo is basically getting past the gremlins who are chasing him down. The game consists of a board that looks like this. There's different gremlins on spaces, including Spike, the main big bad gremlin, and Gizmo here, the cute hero of the story. For the, there, It's a two-player game, and for the player playing Gizmo to win, all he has to do is get Gizmo to the exit. For the gremlins to win, they have to land a gremlin on top of Gizmo. Uh, also, the good guys can win if Spike falls in a trap. If you get rid of Spike, you win. Or if Gizmo lands in a trap, then the gremlins win. It's a very simple game. In fact, you can see here the rules are one page. The game itself comes in this plastic bin. You know, It looks like you're buying toys or a collectible card game when you get it. And you do get a deck of cards in the game, and on your turn, you draw a card, and you pick, you do the side that you are. So, for example, here, Gizmo, move each gremlin one space. Now, he will probably try to maneuver them out of his way, or towards a trap, because if he moves a gremlin onto a trap, he wins. So then this guy says, the gremlin guy gets a card, move stripe one space, and move three gremlins one space each. So, he moves... Those, and then uh, Gizmo, move Gizmo three spaces. And so that's basically the game. You're, you draw a card, and you do what the card says, and you make the best maneuvering at that point in time. There's really not a whole lot of other... There's nothing much else I can say about it. I suppose you could add more strategy by having a hand of cards and playing the right card at the right time. The game doesn't say, for example, when it says move gremlins does that mean spike because he's differentiated on the other cards or when for example here for the bad guys when it says move stripe two spaces and move two gremlins one space each can i can one of those gremlins be spike it's not a big deal i guess the minor things but the game is quick and fast and takes place in about five or ten minutes no one's going to accuse us of being a great game it's just a simple fast game I think it's okay. It wasn't terrible to play the game, although I felt like you turn over a card and you just did what it did. There's obviously usually an optimal move to make each time. The, the problem with this game is that there's just simply no staying power. If you play this game five times, you're done. It's not going to play out differently each time. I'm trying to get Gizmo to the escape. Can you stop me? I, I, if there was more variety involved, I think it's going to sell because people are going to want to buy it to get the little gremlin pieces, put them on their shelf somewhere, or just keep the pack and add it to their hoard of gremlins collection so that someday when we do the 50th anniversary of the movie, the CBS can come to your house and do a documentary on your giant gremlins collection. I don't know. My daughter thought it was fun when we played it back and forth. She didn't really get the idea. She thought Gizmo was cute and everything, but the it just didn't mesh together to be a good enough game. If you buy it for the toy's sake, fine. Whatever you want to do. My kids will have fun running around with the little gremlins. But for as a game, it's not terrible, but it's one of those games that after you play it, and you might not think about it ever again in your entire life. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.